all right hi you guys welcome back to my channel so today we are making stuffed peppers i'm going to show you how to cut one so i'm gonna this is the top i'm gonna to cut the top part off and then this is the inside I'm going to cut around it. All right, so the inside should look like that. So I am going to rinse it out. So these extras, I am going to throw it in a hamburger when I start cooking. So I'm going to cut one more pepper for y'all so y'all can see what I did. So again, I don't want to rinse the inside out. So it should look like that. So, before I stuff these with the hamburgers, I am going to throw them in the oven for a good 15 or 30 minutes so they can get soft. Okay, so I did preheat the oven to 375 already, guys. And I'm putting it in this pan, so I'm going to throw the peppers in before I stuff them in so they can get a little softer. So for the bell pepper stuffing, I'm making mashed potatoes and hamburger. So it's going to be like a mini shepherd pie stuffed bell pepper. So I did cut four nice sized potatoes. Okay, you guys, I'm getting ready to throw the hamburger in. So I am using one pound of all hamburgers. So I'm going to smash it up and turn the fire down a little bit. So you guys, I did cut up some onions, green peppers, yellow peppers, and orange peppers. But the peppers, which was left over from the top, I'll be cutting for the bill, the stuffed peppers. All right, you guys, so I'm mixing all this in. So the hamburger is almost done. Well, basically it's done. I'm just letting it cook a little more. If you want, you guys can drain the hamburger, but I'm not. Alright. 
So I did let the peppers cook for 25 minutes. I mean, guys, to make it more easier, you can, after the mashed potatoes is done cooking, you can just mix the hamburger with the mash, and then you can just scoop it on in. I'm going to do that for the last one, so you can see what I'm talking about. So I empty all the hot water off the potatoes, and I did rinse it with a little bit of cold water real quick so they can stay hot. So now I'm getting ready to smash them with a fork. So I do like smashing them with a fork. If you guys submerge all the potatoes under the water and let them cook to where they're soft, you will have no lumps whatsoever. So that's what it looks like now, dry. So I use a half a stick. You definitely want to put the butter in when the potatoes are hot. So you're going to use the butter, you want to make it almost look like you did pour milk in it to make it like whip potatoes. I'm going to add just a little bit more. And that's it. You see this texture now? Almost like whipped potatoes. So these are like butter whipped potatoes without milk. So you add the pepper and salt and garlic and garlic powder to your liking. So now I'm going to spoon the potatoes over the peppers. So when you put the mashed potatoes in, just pat it down. So 
So if you don't know how to make shepherd pie, this is basically like a shepherd pie, but in a uh, baking dish. For the last pepper, I am going to mix the hamburger with the mashed potatoes so you can see what it looks like stuff. Okay, you guys, and this is going on top. So when you do it like this, you can just go ahead and fill it all the way up to the top. Top it off the cheese. I'm gonna put it back in the oven for a good 15 minutes and I'll show you guys. Be back with the finished product. So, this is the inside of the one with the hamburger at the bottom and the mashed potatoes on top. 